Hey guys, so Paul Bates here and Daisy. Don't forget about Daisy. And today I really want to talk about the trawlers and the different uh, options we're looking at. Uh, I really want to make this channel about the experience of finding the trawler. And, you know, especially in our price range where, you know, it's easy to go out and spend a million dollars or a half a million dollars or, you know, somewhere up in that range and, you know, like Monster Mermaid and get, and get a big, nice, fancy trawler. But when I, I don't have that kind of money. And if I wait till I have it, I may never do the trip because I might get too old. So right now I've, you know, I've got a budget, I've got money, uh, we've got this whole whole thing and I want to do the great loop and I want to do it for under a hundred K that includes the boat and you know, it's possible, but things have to go a little bit my way and they will. So, and there's three possibilities of boats and, uh, we're, we're looking at a boat. Uh, you know, we found a new boat this weekend and it's a 44. They're all, uh, Marine traders. One's, you know, uh, Southern Bell is a, uh, it's a, it's probably the oldest one. It's an 84. It's actually not the oldest one. It's an 84, uh, uh, Euro style, uh, 36. Uh, and then we have, uh, uh, the next one we're looking at is the 87 Marine Trader. And that's probably the newest one of the three of them. And then the new one that I found this weekend is a 44 foot, uh, Marine Trader Euro style. I kind of liked it. I, re I really did. It had some unique feature features to it. And all three of them have the Ford Lehman uh, diesel engines. Uh, the, 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 the newest one has the 135. The other two have 120s. Uh, the last, the one we're looking at this weekend, I want to show you a couple pictures here of it. It has a twin uh, one, 120 Lehmans. And I'm not afraid of that. It, it'll burn a lot more fuel and it'll cost a little bit more money to maintain. But you know, I, I mean, there's some, there's some, there's pros and cons to it. So you really got to figure that out. Why, what's important to you. And, you know, I, I could do it. I could easily do it. I could, I could take the more space. It's a, you know, it's a bigger, heavier displacement boat. It'll, you know, do better in a little bit rougher waters. Not that we're looking for any rough water out there, but it would do a little bit better than the, the other ones. Right now, if I had to pick one, if I was going to say, hey, this is the, the trawler I'm going with, it would be the newer one of the three because it's, you know, a single engine uh, Ford Lehman. It's got the 135 horse Ford Lehman in it and just a good boat. So in this channel here, I really want to discuss all the emotion, everything we're going through right now and, and, and getting the boat and, you know, and, and taking the trip. And that's what it's going to be about. We'll do more daily blogs uh, as, we're, as we're doing the trip. But right now, it's literally, it's finding a boat. And there's, we got three good possibilities right now. And I want to share those with you. Uh, they're all the Euro style. And one of the big reasons I'm going Euro is because of Daisy here. She's just, uh, we think it'd be easier on her just to be able to open that back door and let her out, the, let her out on the deck there and let her go roam around the deck and, and, and do what she needs to do and have some space. So we, uh, that's the reason we're going with the, uh, um, with, with the Euro style trawler. Our last trawler was not, you know, Tesaro here. I'll show you a picture of Tesaro here. It was not a Euro style. It was the trunk base, uh, you know, and I liked it. It was a nice trawler and, and it would work. And it, it may come down to that in the end here. But right now I found these three trawlers. Uh, they all got their different situations. Uh, they all have uh, um, location is everything, you know, which one's the closest, which one's the furthest, uh, which one is the easiest one to get to where we needed to get to. And then uh, which one's going to be the most economical? You know, these are all decisions that we have to make. And, you know, then that's what we're making. We're going to go. But all three of these boats, in my opinion, warrant, a, a, you know, a, a spending the money to, to fly down and see them. So in a couple of weeks, uh, we're going to take a vacation. We're going to go visit uh, Bev's parents. And, and, the, and we'll see the river house and the kind of condition that it's in. And... Uh, so and also what kind of docking situation we have and everything like that and then uh, I, I think during that period I may not fly to all three of them but I may fly to one or two of them if I get the opportunity and go take a look at them and, and take you guys out to them uh, because I think all three of them weren't that kind of uh, you know that they're in that they're in the boats that we want they have the engines that we want and they're in the price range, you know, obviously I'd want less, you know, all of them are going to need work. It doesn't matter, you know, what boat I pick, 
it, it, it's going to need work and, it's, and, and you know, that budget has to be real, uh, realistic and, you know, that budget probably has to be somewhere around $10,000, you know, and that, that's just a realistic, but I know it's a nice round figure, but by the time you add solar and a few upgrades and, and you know, and just raw maintenance on them, any one of them, all three of those boats, all three of them would need over $10,000 uh, worth of work on them to get them to do the, the entire loop the way I want it. And that, that's providing they had good electronics and providing they have everything that, you know, 90% of everything that I need, basically. So anyway, that's, that's what we're doing right now. And I just want to give you a little heads up on it and show you the new boat here. It's just a beautiful boat. Uh, here's the, I'll show you the engine compartment here. Just beautiful. You know, they, they've, it's well maintained. Uh, you can tell it's, it's out of the water right now. The bottom's done on it. It's probably the the easy, it's an easy pick because it's, you know, there, there's, it's out of the water, but it's also the furthest one away and it would require, you know, probably a two, two to three week trip just to get it uh, back over to the, uh, the ri river house. So anyway, you know, that's a disadvantage, but it's also, you know, we'd have twin engines. We would have, you know, I want to check on the fuel tanks on it to see it's got 500 gallons of fuel. But we, I want to check to see when those uh, tanks were replaced, if they have ever been replaced. Because on these older trawlers, they had the, the um, steel tanks in them. And they're only good for about 20 years. After 20 years, they're no good. So I've got to check on that and make sure that uh, that's something, uh, if it hasn't been replaced, you know, something to consider that's going to have to be done to the boat. Anyway, Paul Bates and Daisy, we just wanted to give you a heads up. It's Monday here, and uh, we're getting closer. It'll probably be about the first week in September there. That we head back to Alabama for a visit and uh, then we'll we'll know more then and and what's going on and stuff like that and then I'll probably go and visit uh, at least one of them maybe even two of them at that time and then uh, really consider we'll, we'll have our budget completely for the boat here and we can start making offers on the boats if that's what we want to do anyway Paul and Daisy peace out we love you guys try and stay out of trouble and be good or be good at it thanks bye <laughs>